And that's that. The trinket is charged. What did it mean it'll summon you? Who cares? What do we do about the bodies? Who cares, she says. Are you kidding me? The bodies, Andy. Focus. Right, the bodies. Uh... Hmm. Well, on one hand, we didn't kill them. But on the other, them having gone missing would definitely be better for us. Maybe they just fucked off somewhere. Who knows? Meanwhile, if there's a murder investigation... Right. So let's make them disappear. Right. We can start by chopping them up. Can't we just dump them into the ocean or something? No, Ashley. We're going to make them vanish, not wash up ashore somewhere. Ugh. How to go about this? We can't leave a mess behind. Well, there's a drain right there. Ah, right you are. See? I'm not a dumbass all the time. No, just dumb and an ass. Oh, wow. Check out this smart ass right here. <laughs> Andrew's untying the parents, but stops. Wait, what? What is it? Is dad breathing? I take a look and sure enough, his chest is moving ever so slightly. <gasps> he is. Mom too. Mm. I love Ashley's pose where she's just like, <laughs> <laughs> I try various things, but nothing gets a response from my parents. Yet their hearts still beat. Their lungs draw in air. Oh god, what is this? Maybe losing your soul just turns you into a vegetable? That can't be. The cultist died. And the warden too. Well, I mean... Did you actually check? Nope. Uh... I sure didn't. I just went to town and started chopping. No, no, no. Please tell me he wasn't still alive when we ate him. <laughs> what the fuck is so funny about this? Come on now, I'm sure he died pretty quickly from blood loss. If not, you ripping his head off must have done the trick. Uh, Seems like a bit of a large oversight. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with chopping and eating some veggies, good god. <laughs> It'll be the same with these two. Get to cutting. Oh. No, that... This changes everything, doesn't it? You want to leave them like this? They're not getting their souls back. Though, if you want to leave them to starve, I'm all for it. <laughs> Wouldn't it be a little poetic? I'm sure you'd like that. Uh, I don't know. I need to think. Oh, come on. Where are you going? No, Andrew. Look. Look here for a sec. What? Huh? Jesus Christ. I get my father, too. What are you doing? There. All done. <laughs> Problem solved. 
Now, tell me again how I always make you do all the dirty work. Listen, she's been wanting to do this all day. Uh... He'll bitch and moan. Surely he'll bitch and moan as per usual. But I did not miss that sigh of relief. Anyway, I drag my parents' soulless and lifeless bodies over to the shower. All right, I'll start cutting. You guide the blood into the drain with the shower head. Gotcha. Whoa, whoa, what? Stop, stop! Stop, it's flooding! Huh? Oh, what the hell? Gross. Uh, great. The drain is clogged up. And the lid is screwed shut. I need a screwdriver. You just keep chopping the bodies. I'll get you something to unclog the drain with. Wrong. The baking soda goes first. Yeah. Wow. Whoops. Who gives a shit? Pour down a generous amount of baking soda and then douse it with vinegar. The soda starts bubbling up, but the clog doesn't lessen one bit. Well, well we tried. We tried. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was your line. <laughs> this is the third time I've done this now? <laughs> yeah. Well, we tried. I'll get you some rubber, some rubber gloves. God damn it. I'm the one who's going to have to get in there? But of course, I am but a dainty little lady. You can't expect me to do a man's job. Fine, just get me the gloves. Here you go. Have fun. Handed Andrew the rubber gloves. He digs out God knows what out of the drain. A seemingly never ending amount of God knows what. Yeah. Oh God, that is disgusting. Oh, I'm gonna gag. You're not helping. Kazuma disapproves? You mean Kazuma from Konosuba? Kazuma. <laughs> that is gross, Andy. <laughs> Bold of you to call me that when I am armed. <gasps> you wouldn't. Come here, you. <laughs> no, no, don't you dare. I'll fucking kill you in your sleep. <laughs> Any last words? Forgive me, Andrew. Andrew, I'm sorry. I apologize. Fine. You are spared for now. The drain works. Let's get this over with. Me and my brother dismember my parents. And disembowel them. And decapitate them. I also make a mental note to myself about Andrew. Instead of oscillating between freaking out and apathy like you expected him to. Hmm. Who is it? What? No, nothing, Andrew. If you're tired, I can take care of the rest. What? No, it's it's really nothing. Hmm. I must be seeing things. Uh, what? 
To think I'd ever bear witness to you being distraught over our parents' corpses. Oh, right. Then again, I bet you're just moping, mopping over there, finally getting over your hand. I totally read that wrong. <laughs> then again, I bet you're just mopping over, finally getting your hands dirty. And, uh, you? Hmm? What? Are you doing alright? As alright as I can be, considering the circumstances. That's good. You're... being... weird. Look who's talking. Ha! <laughs> Alright, enough time wasted. Andrew continues casually butchering, butchering our parents. So what's the plan for all of this? Where to dispose of it all? Yeah, yeah, but how? We'll use whatever means available in the house. Let's look around and see what we can do. Oh, you God. pour your parents you pour your parents' organs in the blender and blend away. Okay. Several servings of crimson smoothie emerge. Oh, shut the fuck up. Oh my god. <laughs> All of which you pour down the kitchen sink. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> so you were fine with them chopping up a cultist, eating his leg, and making food out of it, but not the blending of an uh, organ smoothie? Okay, when I see anyone blending anything that shouldn't be blended, I get grossed out. <laughs> How's that? Good is gone. I'm Will it blend? No, no, God, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm genuinely surprised you didn't offer me any. Damn. What? Did you want a disease or something? Of course I wouldn't offer you raw meat. You really take me for an idiot, don't you? I take you for what you are, idiot. Watch your mouth. This idiot just poured your parents down the drain. <laughs> Alright, that was pretty smart, I guess. For an idiot. See, Andy is a lot more okay with things going on. I remember him being really grossed out and uh, Ashley having her fun little playing the conscience moment at that point. Yeah, yeah, and and she'd say things that are ridiculous just to get on his nerves, and now mm -hmm. he's the one sitting there going like... Like, he's the one Aren't that's... you gonna say something ridiculous? And, like, they're both changing, and he's calling out her changing, but she's not yep. calling out him changing because she doesn't know how to take it. She's, uh... It's like she's getting what she wanted, and now she's starting to think, maybe this isn't what I wanted. <laughs> maybe this isn't what I wanted, yeah. Maybe it was more of the idea of me wanting it is what I liked more than actually getting it. Yep. Dinner is ready. I'm eating too? Of course. This is the last hearty home-cooked meal for a while, after all. I suppose. That's right. Now say ah. Uh... Ah. Uh... Unexpected. Well, well, how is it? It's okay. Just okay? I mean, it's better than last time, but... Why are you so picky? It's really dry. You overcooked it or something. Mom's just a dry person, all right? How the hell is it dry? This is soup. No, mom should be more salty. This is just bland and dry. 
I rate this waste of ingredients out of 10. Would not eat again. <gasps> you will retract that statement at once. I slave away in the kitchen for you and this is the thanks I get? I'm sorry you can't cook. You're not forgiven. Oh? Jackass, eat shit and die. Well, this food is certainly shit. Mm -hmm. Well, come on, I'm joking. It's not that bad, it's fine. More than fine. Yes, yes, it's fantastic in a way my dumbass can't appreciate. How about that? She definitely big pouting right now. Why, yes, indeed, this cooking is beyond my mortal comprehension. Correct. An out of this world culinary experience with the likes of me cannot even taste properly. Because my taste buds simply aren't evolved enough to sense all the subtleties. Truly, when I said waste of ingredients, I mean it's a waste to feed it to me. Food of this caliber should only be fed to kings. No, gods. <laughs> That's more like it. Oh my gosh. So exquisite is your cooking that I will write you a shitty poem about it. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Lo and behold, I implore you, come feast your eyes on her. Oh, and there is food too. To ease your weary soul, she's brewed a broth to give you quite the fright. There must be magic in her fingertips to cook such a delight. And yet the meat is drier than her lips quarter past midnight. <laughs> uh, should I buy lip balm? And the meat isn't dry. God damn. It's just right. <laughs> <sighs> Whatever. Humans are hard to cook. I'll get it next time. What? Next time? Ah, uh, whatever. Anyhow. I think we've dealt with the flesh to the best of our abilities. But we still need to do something about the bones. Oh, well, first of all, I need to ditch the leftover soup. While you do that, I'll clean the kitchen. All done. Are we ready to go? I think so. Though there's no way to tell if we miss something still. Other than maybe see if you have a dream where you where we're where we're caught, I guess. I offered two souls, so it stands to reason I have at least two visions to come. How about I take a nap and see if a disaster awaits us? Please do. Could have baked the bones longer so they could grind them into powder. That's true, yeah, if you soften mm. them up. So, what are the conditions to get a vision? Thank you for the stretch. Siv Shep. Oh, it's Shep. He's the boy. I know Shep. Is it Bob? It's Bob. It is Bob. It is the Bob father. As in, Indeed what did the demon Bob. say about it exactly? Bob knows who Hell he is. Hell if I remember. <laughs> you don't? Uh, could you possibly give any less of a fuck? That'd be great. Bob is, yes, Bob is still your name. Bob is still my name. Yes, that is still your name. It's been going strong for like, what, three years? Just about three years, yeah. Here's the thing. Here's the thing, Bob. You decided to jump into a stream with a scrub in it, and now you're Bob. <laughs> <laughs> you, made, you made the mistake. Bob's nah. my uncle? I don't know. Uh, Bob, are you my uncle? Are you, are you Aru's uncle? Oh, do forgive me, your highness. It's been a week or two the bob father 
That's what that's his name right now in my server, the Bob Father. And up yours, you didn't even remember our parents' address. Which is of... <laughs> <laughs> Which is, of course, just as important as this. Look, it just said that I need to hold on to it to have clairvoyant dreams. That's it. It was in my pocket last time when it happened. Then can I hold it this time? Absolutely, Bob. We are doing wonderful. We are having such a fantastic time on this game, and then we're going to have a wonderful time on the next game. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it gave it to me, so maybe it wouldn't work with you. What's it hurt to try? God, you can't read between the lines for shit. That was me telling you no. I did get it. I just don't care. What Stop being <laughs> Stop being so selfish all the time and let me try. It's my trinket. Ever heard of sharing? How am I supposed to share this? Do you want to cut the trinket in half? I'm sure that's a great idea. No, just... Mm. We are not cutting it. <laughs> that's not it, but I'm sure we can both hold it at the same time. See if either of us gets a vision. How? It's a bit small. Between our hands, right? Oh my, how romantic. Come again? Holding hands when we sleep together? Man, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> All right, forget this. Good night. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, it's fine. Though I still think I'm gonna be the only one who has a vision. We'll see. What could go wrong ex from experimenting with demonic trinkets? Absolutely nothing has gone wrong with messing with things from hell. If anything, things have gone really well for them. All things considered, yeah. Yep. Good night. Good night. Is this where they fuck? Not sure. <laughs> fuck this. How am I supposed to sleep after you went and said something so off color? <laughs> <laughs> and it doesn't help at all. Mom said something outrageous too. Oh yeah, I heard that. You did, huh? So that's what that little show was about earlier? Did you see her face? That was great. I hope she regretted her entire life just then. Pretty sure she just regretted giving birth to us. I'll take it. If, for once, she regretted the both of us, then I'm happy. Hmm. What? Nothing. Good night. It isn't long until sleep takes over. Somehow, it seems like a highly questionable idea to take this route. I know what I'm about. <laughs> Delusion is the solution. Mm, oh, we got the ending. Yeah! <laughs> Penny for your thoughts? No deal. Come on, give me one word. Mortifying. Huh. Didn't seem like it a minute ago. So I think you meant to say gratifying. 
If you notice, it's no longer saying fuck, it's saying something else. <laughs> is this saying sex? Yes, it is. <laughs> oh my god. Big words don't fit in your mouth. Yeah, something else fit in it just fine earlier. <laughs> Oh, yeah. So mortified, are you? You know I'm easy to distract. The promised land? <laughs> <laughs> Some guilty conscience you've got. Better than yours. Come here, you. God damn. Well, damn. <laughs> Wait, gently, gently, God damn it. The vision ends the vision without ends you dying. Without me dying. So at least there's that, I suppose. Welp. <laughs> I wonder if Andrew saw it too. <laughs> 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 you know, I think he did. Mayhaps. <laughs> uh, oh shit, you're awake. Well, hello to you too. Uh, yeah, good morning. Or evening, I guess. Whatever. Right. So, hey, did you get a vision? P probably not. Really? Do you see dreams like that a lot then? I don't! <laughs> so you did see it. Uh... Quite the vision, huh? Big brother? That was not a vision! The demon's messing with us. Y yeah, that's it. That's just it. It's because we tried to be cheap and get two visions for the price of one. So it gave us a fake vision instead. That's the only explanation that makes sense. Oh, please. I mean, it is your trinket. Clearly you were right and I wasn't supposed to use it. Sure, sure. Keep selling it. I'm totally buying. Screw you. Yeah, you just might. Fuck off. Do you honestly think that? <laughs> that she's just fucking with him. <laughs> I don't know. You tell me. Listen here, you. Fucking spare me, I don't wanna hear it. You just helped me desecrate our parents' corpses, yet getting laid is what you're freaking out about? No one got laid! And you keep telling me I messed up. What a joke. <sighs> Existential crisis incoming. Now need to emote this too. Holy fuck! <laughs> We're not like that, are we? I don't know. Mm. You just come off that way sometimes. Hi, DJ. It's good to see you. Huh? <laughs> How so? A tad jealous? Oh dear. What's that? Wishful thinking? Tell that to my ex. Let's not pretend you don't have a bit of a jealous streak yourself. Now that's wishful thinking. Fat chance. Get over yourself. 
I don't think I need to ask you this, but let me anyways. It's never gonna come to that, right? You and me? Ashley just said what every pro shipper says to every anti shipper basically every day in this godforsaken world. <laughs> this is Ashley's choice. Um, it's never gonna come to that. Never say never. <laughs> never say never, Andrew, my dear. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> <laughs> the guy's fucking losing it. <laughs> it's not funny. Don't joke about this. Why? Am I getting your hopes up? Or maybe something else? <laughs> Say, did that vision get you? I'm out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Why is this such a massive issue to you? We've done way worse things together. I honestly figured it would happen eventually. Why, 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 why are you like this? Why would you say this? Why would you think this? I... Wow, what a landmine, huh? Mm, well, yeah? Nah, forget this. Forget this whole thing. Fine, but that was clearly a vision, so it'll probably come up sooner or later. Well, in your last vision, a guy slit our throats. Yet, yeah, here we are. So let's just leave it at that. Alright then, if you say so. Andrew. Andrew sweeps the elephant under the rug and calls it a day. Uh, anyway. Let's go throw mom and dad into the ocean, yeah? <laughs> what a change of topic. I know, right? Uh. Mm. Mm. Uh. Talk about mood with us. Uh, I hate you. It's not my fault. The stupid bag ripped on its own. I don't care. Hurry up and pick them up. I have a feeling that's gonna be a thing that happens in the next chapter. Like someone's gonna have seen this. Mm. Yeah, probably someone was in their car. Yep. Thank God no one's here at this hour. Vroom, vroom. Vroom, vroom. God damn. I'm telling wow. you. Wow. Okay, that was a fucking game. This game's wild as hell, right? Thank you to Scrub Tello for being the one who provided the game and let us play and voice act and everything. It was so much fun. For sure. And I hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. Thank you guys for watching. Until next time. Hasta luego. Bye-bye.